It's a hard one, guys. All right, so we get a lot of questions. What kind of shoes should I wear? What are best for my feet? What's gonna eliminate that hip, that back problem? Whatever you've been working on. We're gonna go over the 2012 best barefoot shoes today on FitLife.TV. I'm Drew Canoli. Remember, we're in this together. Crystal Kane is. She's ready to rock it out and show you her favorite <laughs> shoe as well. Let's make it happen. That these are awesome shoes, these ones here. The um, Nikes. Yes. Yeah. And they're and I'm a Zumba girl, so I know a lot of ladies Zumba in them because these are lightweight. But I do like the ones you're wearing because I like I like bright colors and they're light, they're flexible, so they'd be great for low impact activities. All right, so first up are the Minimus New Balance shoes. Crystal, what do you think about the durability of these things? The durability is great, but what I've noticed, after 200 miles from running in these guys, they're starting to wear down. But the thing is, if you look on the bottom, you see these little pocket holes? Do you want my help? Yeah. See those little pocket see holes pocket right there? Holes right here? Those guys give me amazing traction for the many miles that I run. Right, this is definitely a great runner shoe. Test the balance. Test the balance. Touch the nose, touch that's the pretty good. That's, that's pretty, pretty good, good, huh? That's pretty good, I like I'm, that. If you notice while Drew's swinging me around, I was merely on my tippy toes and on the soles yeah. of my feet. I love shoe. them. I, yeah. I think the balance is great. I'm, I'm not really that flexible, guys, but I've been working on this move right here. See this? Check the flexibility. See that? See that? That balance right there. That's what these shoes are all about. I love them in the gym. Yeah. I haven't put 200 miles on mine yet. Crystal's definitely worked out longer in hers. Um, I love the looks of them. Oh, the looks are, it's awesome. Sexy, right? They are sexy shoes. I mean, you want to get some them. attention in the gym from the ladies or the guys, I mean. And they're just a great shoe. shoe. Just, they're, you're yeah, beyond you flexible right. in the gym, in the yeah. money. The functionality of the shoe is amazing. Yeah. It's versatile, you can use it in the gym, you can go running, you can weight lift. You can even just use it as you're going to work with your shoe. It's just a yeah. great shoe. Crystal's a crossfitter. Yeah. I don't know it. if I'd wear these with jeans, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I like them. I caught them in skinny jeans with them. I like them, yeah, skinny <laughs> jeans. There we go. All right, guys, so these are the New Balance Minimus. I'm going to give them a five out of five stars. Me too. Five out of five. Love Both these shoes. Points. Go Durable, get them. flexible, and the function's great. Love it. All right, Fit Lifers, the next shoe that we're going to talk about is Innovate. What I like about this Minimus shoe is it's a great starting point. You put the shoe on and you do not expect any of the lightness that's coming from it. It's beyond durable, it's flexible, and the functionality of this shoe is one of my favorites. Being a crossfitter, it has allowed me to um, run over 200 miles and these shoes are still intact. Um, the flexibility is amazing. As you can see, um, Drew Canoli behind us is doing an incredible amount of exercise, doing different functionality and durability tests with this. I give it five out of five stars. Drew, what do you give it? Five out of five. Keep running. <laughs> five out of five. I think Woo. he said five out of five shoes. All right, guys, if you guys are skeptical of starting off with any Minima shoes, I recommend doing Innovate's first off. Drew? I like them too. Will you help me? You ready? Look at them. Check the flexibility. <laughs> cool shoes, guys. You got the mic on? Got hello, mic hello. On. Mic's on. Get these shoes for sure. <laughs> so what do you think about these Merrells? I like these Merrells. These are really comfortable. They're the fast shoe. Yeah, I feel, really I feel fast them. when I wear them too. They're like magic shoes. Especially when you like run up hills. I think they're real good for rock climbing. Mm -hmm. They're real good for like different things that, you know, jumping from rock to rock Absolutely. or, you know, skydiving <laughs> or, uh, or running on train tracks, saving the world. Definitely. Absolutely. These are probably one of my most comfortable barefoot shoes. Mm -hmm. I love Merrells. This is like my third or fourth pair of Merrells that I have. So, and I love the barefoot. I love the sole. Yeah. They're very durable. Mm -hmm. They get dirty. You just throw them in the wash. And I've washed these four times and it looks like you haven't even washed them yet. So I like that. As far as longevity goes, uh -huh. is longevity on the rating here? How long it lasts, durability, durability longevity, yeah. same thing. I'm gonna give these a five out of five in durability. You gotta give them a five out of five too. Yeah, so the Merrells are great. I love the sole on them, lots of traction, you guys. Mm -hmm. Great for trail running. It's almost, it's not made with normal shoe material. It's made with actual Merrell hiking shoe material, which is a lot more durable. I'm bridge and I'm wearing Nikes. So am I, how do you feel? <laughs> After three shoes, seriously, I feel like I'm walking in cinder blocks. A little bit. 
Yeah, they're a lot heavier. I feel like I have orthopedics on too. How do you feel about that? Too, I feel like Didn't I you say to, that earlier? I have special shoes to help my height right now. Yeah, so I think Nike's definitely taking a step in the right direction mm -hmm. with the Nike Freeze. Definitely. The looks, I think they're sexy. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, you're definitely gonna get a lot of looks on the treadmill when yeah. you're at the gym or whatever <laughs> you're doing. Um, personally, they don't work for me. Yeah. But I think if you're just getting into barefoot running, they're perfect. Yeah, I totally agree with you. It's a, it's a, it's a shoe that's fit for the right direction if you want to go yep. through the minimus game. Yep. So my personal opinion on these, the Nike Freeze, I'm going to give them about a 3.762. Okay. I don't know what you're going to go with, but... Uh, I think I'm going to go with a 3.792. 3.792, all right. Extra points for the sexiness. Well, and you got the pink, so... Yeah. I got red and black. <laughs> They're still really you good wanna, looking You want to switch laces? Let's try. Can yeah. I borrow your pink? Of course you can. Cool. All right. <laughs> you guys smell that? Success. These are the, the OGs, as we'll call them, the original gangsters. The Vibram Five Fingers. These were my first barefoot shoes back in the day. Absolutely loved them. I've, I've had three pairs of these off and on through the years. I've had them for about three years, uh, the Vibram Barefoot. I love the feel. I don't really think there's another shoe where you're going to get as much pro preception. Five out of five, like I said, no complaints. And uh, that's it. So you've seen the Barefoot Shoe Review 2012, you guys. Go out, get yourself a pair, experiment with them. Figure out which shoe works for you, it's important. You're always on your feet, you want to make sure that you have really good shoes. So check it out, I'm Drew Canoli. Remember, we're in this together. I'll see you soon.